The circle of Pluto crosses the circle of another planet. Pluto, a delicate planet on the outskirts of our solar system, is causing a stir on Earth. Recent reports point to a possible encounter with Neptune, causing concern among astronomers and space enthusiasts. Key figures such as Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have warned of the possible consequences of this cosmic event. But how did Pluto end up colliding with a neighboring planet, and what could this celestial collision mean for life on Earth? Join us as we unravel the mystery of how something large collided with Neptune, leaving scientists baffled by this extraordinary irregularity. Previously considered a large planet, Pluto has been reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its unusual orbit. Despite this degradation, Pluto continues to attract and enchant the cosmic community. Recent predictions by respected scientists, such as Tyson and Kaku, have raised alarm about a possible convergence of Pluto's path with Neptune, suggesting an imminent series of collisions between the two celestial bodies. Such an event could have a major impact on Earth. Pluto's journey around the Sun stands out for its remarkable features. Its orbit is remarkably wide, crossing an astonishing number of astronomical units. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has not yet made a full orbit around the Sun adding to its mystique is the very elongated shape of its orbit, a departure from the circular paths of the larger planets. Pluto's orbit deviates from the plane of the ecliptic by 17 degrees, giving its path a steeper tilt than other planets. This combination of Pluto's unique characteristics and elliptical orbit makes its orbit more complex. One notable aspect is its coincidental intersection with the orbit of Neptune. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto is closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying expectations based on their position in the solar system. Looking at Pluto's orbit, it is fascinating to note that it is not a perfect circle, but rather an elongated circle that is more like an oval shape. This unusual orbit causes significant variations in Pluto's distance from the Sun during its journey. At closest approach, Pluto is about 30 Australian dollars from the Sun, but at its farthest point, it is more than 49 times Neptune's distance from the Sun. In addition, Pluto's orbit is at an angle to the orbits of the larger planets, which complicates its path and changes its interactions with other celestial bodies, especially Neptune. When Pluto meets Neptune, its gravitational effects regulate their trajectory over time. The complex dance between Pluto and Neptune highlights the dynamic nature of our solar system. Although Pluto was once considered a lone traveler abroad, its close encounters with Neptune highlight the interconnectedness of the celestial bodies, each exerting gravitational forces that shape the paths of the others I in recent years. Advances in observational technology have allowed astronomers to track Pluto's motion with remarkable precision. This led to a deeper understanding of its orbit and its possible effects on the stability of the outer solar system. Although the probability of a direct collision between Pluto and Neptune remains low, the possibility cannot be completely ruled out, which is why the astronomical community continues to observe and study. Despite its modest size and remote location, Pluto continues to interest scientists and hobbyists. The question arises, why there was no collision between Pluto and Neptune? The answer lies in the attraction of other planets. Astronomers began studying Pluto's orbit shortly after its discovery and were surprised by its path. Unlike most planets that stick to a similar plane, the ecliptic plane, when orbiting the Sun, Pluto stands out because of its oval orbit. The mystery deepened when they realized that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's orbit. Despite these complexities, the orbit of Pluto remains stable, showing the complex mechanics of space. Gravitational understanding of the motions and interactions of the three celestial bodies, Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, is an enormous challenge. It is like predicting where they will travel based on their starting points and how they will affect each other. This challenge shows how the orbit of Pluto, the orbit of Neptune, and the orbit of the Sun work together as a simulation, ensuring that even when Pluto crosses Neptune's path, it is always at least 90 degrees apart, avoiding a collision. Release ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other large planets, it stays well above their orbits, reducing the risk of collision. The VSOP oscillation, named after scientists Valence, Zappel, Steve, and Saplin, 
explains why Pluto's orbit appears unusual but remains regular over long periods of time. Despite the chaos of space, certain patterns and rules maintain order. These rules keep Pluto's orbit stable, preventing it from colliding with Neptune or changing its path. The possibility of orbital chaos shows how the path of a celestial body is very sensitive to its initial conditions. This is well represented by Pluto, where even small changes in its position or speed can change its orbit over long periods of time. Scientists use computer simulations to understand how Pluto moves through space. These simulations use complex mathematics to reproduce how Pluto interacts with other celestial bodies, such as Neptune. By changing these simulations slightly, astronomers can see how small changes can affect Pluto's orbit die in the late 1990s. These simulations discovered something interesting about Pluto's orbit. Despite factors that should destabilize it, Pluto's orbit remains eccentric but stable for billions of years. This indicates that although Pluto appears chaotic, its journey around the Sun follows a hidden order. It is difficult to predict what will happen to planets with unusual orbits like Pluto. These systems are so unpredictable that it is difficult to predict long-term events. Simulations help to understand possible outcomes, but also show that we cannot predict everything with certainty. This information helps us better understand how our solar system works. Pluto's orbit shows us how seemingly unstable paths can be regulated by gravity and how objects move through space. Continuing to observe and study these phenomena is critical to our understanding of our place in the universe. As we explore space, we understand that things can be unpredictable, and Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of that unpredictability. The orbit of Pluto differs from that of the other planets because it is more oval and sometimes comes closer to the Sun than Neptune. This makes for exciting scenarios as Neptune also moves along its path. There is a small chance that Pluto and Neptune will collide one day. Despite its unusual orbit, Pluto manages to stay away from Neptune most of the time due to gravitational forces. Gravity acts as an invisible force that pulls objects toward each other, ensuring that even though Pluto and Neptune appear to be on a collision course, their orbits are carefully guided by gravity. Pluto's orbit teaches us that space is full of surprises. What at first seems chaotic can be a delicate balance of power. By studying Pluto's orbit, scientists can gain insight into the complex mechanics of our solar system. Continued observation and research are necessary to expand our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Imagine if Pluto and Neptune collided, it would be an extraordinary event that would send shockwaves through our understanding of the solar system. While we have made significant progress in understanding the cosmos, this potential collision underscores that we still have much to learn. The influence of the major planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable information about the functioning of our entire solar system. This shows us that the positions and movements of the planets can affect the paths of other objects in space. Despite the complexity of space, some leading scientists fear that Pluto could collide with Neptune, so they wonder why this could happen. Renowned astronomer Neil deGrasse Tyson has some fascinating thoughts about Pluto. He believes that renaming Pluto a dwarf planet instead of a large planet like Earth is a step forward. Tyson believes that we are constantly learning new things about how objects move through space. He sees Pluto's unusual orbit as a sign that we still don't know much about it, and finds the mysteries of space endlessly fascinating. Tyson also understands that major events in space, such as the reclassification of Pluto, generate public interest in space science. His goal is to keep people interested in the cool and sometimes weird aspects of space and astronomy. Tyson is working with other scientists to raise awareness of the potential dangers of Pluto's strange path. After studying Pluto, he worries about the possibility of one day colliding with Neptune, which could cause serious problems for our entire solar system. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would be a rare and significant event that would release enormous amounts of energy and potentially disintegrate Pluto. Debris from the collision can spread into space and affect other planets and moons. Neptune can also influence, changing its trajectory. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, known for his contributions to string theory and scientific communication, offers a fascinating perspective on space exploration. 
He believes that the future of space travel and the relationship between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics can be understood by studying anomalies like the orbit of Pluto. Kaku sees Pluto's orbit as a window into the future of space exploration. By understanding the complex gravitational interactions and orbital dynamics of celestial bodies like Pluto, we can improve future space missions and ensure safer navigation in the solar system. Predicting potential threats and planning missions to the far reaches of our cosmic neighborhood is critical. Kaku emphasizes that the lessons learned from Pluto's orbit can also be applied to the study of other celestial bodies, providing a roadmap for exploring distant worlds. He often emphasizes the deep connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics, pointing out that planetary interactions, such as the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are based on fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, especially string theory, aims to dismantle these principles at their core. He suggests that studying the intricacies of celestial mechanics, such as the orbit of Pluto, can provide insight into the underlying laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku considered the possible collision of celestial bodies and related it to his theories about the universe. While the Pluto-Neptune collision is important in astronomy, it could provide a unique observational opportunity that could potentially advance our understanding of string theory and other areas of theoretical physics.